Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this video, let's discuss why you should think twice before taking an acid blocker every single day. Now, there's no, it's no lie that, that gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, heartburn, reflux, these things, they're awful. They cause severe pain. They can uh, cause you to have to clear your throat, to cough, to take in acids all day. They can really be uncomfortable, and it's a big deal. And the root cause of GERD needs to be addressed and treated, but blindly, thoughtlessly taking an acid blocker every day is a very bad idea. And I'm going to tell you why in this video. And I want you to leave your comments on this video and tell me if you take one, which one you take, and how long you've been taking it, okay? So let's talk about this. Reflux is terrible. We've established that. And so what we need to do is we need to start thinking of what is the root cause of my reflux, of my heartburn? Why am I having this? If it's because you're a smoker or you use tobacco products, then obviously the root cause is the tobacco. That doesn't mean you should take a Pepsi every day. That means you should stop smoking, dipping, or chewing tobacco. That's That would be the root cause. That would cure your reflux or your heartburn. If you're overweight, that is a leading cause of heartburn reflux, okay? You've got to lose the weight. And I can help you lose the weight with my other videos about the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting on my YouTube channel. But you just don't want to blindly take a pill every day for this. If you, uh, if you eat junk foods, if you eat processed foods, if you eat lots of wheat, rice, oats, sugar, all this stuff, it's going to inflame your gut and that's going to lead to reflux and heartburn. That's the root cause. Stop eating junk. If you're eating or drinking anything that inflames the lower esophageal sphincter, which is kind of the little muscle that closes off your food tube between your food tube and your stomach, then you need to minimize that. Caffeine, nicotine, alcohol, those are the things that tend to open up that sphincter okay, which is a little muscle. And so what in the world are we going to do about this reflux? We got to do something because you're suffering, but at the same time, you can't be thoughtlessly taking these pills every day. And I'm about to tell you why. So your esophagus has a little bit of a, a snot lining, a snot coat, it's what we doctors call that. And it's basically mucus that your body builds. It's not a very thick layer. And so your esophagus is designed to take a splash or two of stomach acid every day. It's, it's normal. It's okay. It's fine. What happens is with people who have reflux and heartburn is that they have continuous splashes of this very, very powerful stomach acid come up into their esophagus or their food tube, and that, wash, that uh, dissolves the, the snot or mucus barrier, and then it's basically that very strong hydrochloric acid right against the, the tissue of your esophagus, and that gets very painful very quickly. And if you have it for years and years and you don't treat the root cause, then it can actually lead to something called Barrett's esophagus and then ultimately to esophageal cancer. Big deal. You don't want that. And so we've got to fix the root cause of the acid reflux, but we don't want to just blindly take a pill every day. And here's why. Your stomach is designed to hold very strong hydrochloric acid every day your entire life. From the time when you're a tiny baby, breastfeeding until you're an old, old man or woman, you're supposed to have very, very strong stomach acid in your stomach. Your stomach's designed for that. It's normal. It's supposed to be there. And so when you take that acid blocker to block the acid in your esophagus, you also are blocking the acid in the stomach as well. Now, the reason that the stomach acid is there, there's at least two big reasons. There are multiple others. But the two big reasons are, number one, You've got to have that acid to break down and digest and absorb the food you eat, the vitamins, the, new, the minerals. If you don't have that acid there, they'll pass through your gut and you won't absorb them, okay? And this can lead to terrible things that we'll talk about in a minute. The second reason your stomach has that very strong acid is because we put stuff in our mouth all day long, especially babies and toddlers, right? They put everything in their mouth. And if they didn't have that acid barrier there to kill bacteria, then they would just be ingesting billions of bad bacteria every day and it would lead to chronic infections and early death. And so we need that strong acid barrier to kill bad bacteria immediately when they come into our gut. And so two, two reasons you absolutely want the acid to be in your stomach 
is so you can absorb your nutrients and prevent chronic disease and to block bad bacteria so they don't make it too far down into your gut. Now let's talk about the, the medicines and, and call them by name so you know what I'm talking about. These are the ones you don't want to take every day for long periods of time. Now if you need to take one of these pills for a few days, it's perfectly safe and fine. I'm not saying that the pill itself is dangerous. Just the thoughtless daily ingestion of this pill for, for, for months and months or years and years, that's what you want to avoid. So the proton pump inhibitors work on a very specific cell in your, body, in your stomach and they block the production of acid. These are protonix, omeprazole, uh, Prevacid, Nexium, Dexalent, Vimovo, and Zegarid. The, that's, that's the name brands. And, and then the most common generic is Omeprazole. I wanted to call them by name so that you can go, oh yeah, I take that every day. The H2 blockers work on a little different pathway. They're Pepsid, Tagamet, uh, Zantac, and Axid. They block H2. The others are proton pump inhibitors. So if you're taking any of those pills every day for months and months or years and years, you need to go see your doctor and say, hey, I heard that taking these long-term are bad. What should I do about this? And then you and your doctor can figure out what the root cause of your heartburn or reflux or GERD is and fix the root cause. Why do you not want to take these pills and block your stomach acid every single day for long periods of time? There's now research out that proves beyond all doubt that taking these acid blockers every day can increase your risk of dementia, can increase your risk of osteoporosis, can incre increase your risk of pneumonia, and then also there's a, a bacteria that can cause stomach ulcers called H. pylori, Helicobacter pylori. And when you block your acid in your stomach every day, that bacteria can get a foothold. Remember I talked about the acid barrier to bacteria? And so that can lead to stomach or duodenal ulcers. So you don't want to take these day after day after day for months and months and years and years. That can lead to severe long-term problems. It's fine to take them occasionally for two or three days if you have a flare-up of your heartburn. But what you really want to do is go see your doctor and figure out what the root cause is of your heartburn, GERD, reflux, and fix it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I've got a ton of videos over on YouTube, and you can go and watch those for free. I also have a Facebook channel where you can go and check out all the stuff that I do to try to help people feel better. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.